Okay, this question comes from Ibrahim A. I am doing a Bachelor of Computer Science and have not yet chosen a discipline to major in. My lecturer mentioned the disciplines and one grabbed my attention, data sciences. He explained how di that data science is the future of technology and gave some examples. Do you believe that di uh, data science is the future and can you please explain what it is in a little more detail? Uh, so is data science the future? Um, yeah. Yes, absolutely, utterly, it is definitely one of the futures. So when you sit there and you're and you're looking at, at where everything is going, there's a lot of things that, that, are, that are happening in the, the world of technology. So you have the whole thing with machine vision. So basically machines actually being able to see the world. You have artificial intelligence, machines being able to, to, to take in inputs on their own and make decisions based off of that. One of the big things that's coming up and we'll tie a lot of other stuff together are the data sciences um, and this is a very valuable thing this is a very useful thing and it will be continue to be very useful and very valuable going into the long 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 future 10 years for 10 years you should still be able to have a job in data sciences and so you're sitting in there and you're thinking why is data sciences such a big deal it sounds kind of dumb it's data science is there anything that sounds more horribly boring than that, those two words strung together? But one of the things you have to think about is many times the most boring of concepts are the ones that are the most valuable. So we talk about this whole, uh, the, the whole world of internet of things or the internet of everything. Basically the idea that there are just going to be literally billions of devices out in the world collecting all kinds of information. They're going to collect uh, temperature settings. They're going to do biometric scanning. They're going to be pulling in data. One of the issues that you run into is if you ever have to deal with data in the real world um, is collecting data is actually the easy part, right? It's kind of like everything in life. Um, collecting data is actually the easy part and it's kind of sexy and you get to buy a lot of stuff. And so everybody focuses on the data collection, they don't necessarily normal think about what they do once the data is collected, right? So I've got like this Fitbit surge on, right? And so like the idea is, okay, well, this this is a this is a physical device, and I put it on my wrist, and you put all these really cool, sexy sensors into this thing, and then I have this, and this communicates with my cell phone, and my cell phone, and my smartphone, then so things sends everything up to the cloud. There's all this stuff, right? And you look at this, and you go, wow, right? And that that really gets you excited. That really gets you motivated. You're like yeah, I want to create stuff like that. I want to create stuff like that. But here's the problem. What happens to the data once it leaves here? Right? What happens when you have billions of devices all pumping data, all storing data up into the cloud? The question is, then what do you do with it afterwards? And that's where the data sciences come in. And basically all data science is, is figuring out ways to make all that data useful. Right? So you go through... You have all these collections of data, and you just you just sit there and you you you, you figure out um, basically how to make it useful. You do tracking like um, so like with uh, with the stock market and all that. There are a lot of people that have made a lot of money uh, figuring out things that um, that matter that you don't think would matter. So uh, so there is one technique. I don't know if it's still being used, but people actually found uh, like weather conditions um, contributed to to the rise or fall of the stock market so don't quote me on this but like in, on sunny days when it's nice outside people buy and sell stock and the the stock market has a better day and on cloudy rainy days it has a worse day um, and so what they do is if you can get all the weather data from all around the world you get it in one place and then you can start tracking globally how the weather is doing you can figure out how the stock market may do on one particular day so if globally the temperature is one degree above average that means that there may be that the stock market may do you know one percent better for that day or if globally the weather is one degree below average that the same thing is true and then what happens since people start to figure that out because once you have an idea other people have ideas well then you start doing predictive stuff so so can can we use all of these sensors uh, to grab data and then start predicting what the weather will be next tuesday so that we can buy or sell stock today based on where the stock market will be right
that kind of thing. Or if people have all these Fitbits on, how can you go out? How can you collect that data and, and figure figure things out? So so data science is very valuable, and all it is is taking all of this data that all these devices and all these things. Uh, Put it, bringing it together and then figuring out something to do with it. Um, because again, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of problems with like I said with all this data. You have you have data stored um, in, in siloed or in walled gardens. So you have uh, you have Twitter right with with its own little API. So in order to, to to grab data, you have the Open Government Initiative. So the Open Government Initiative is where the governments try to put all of their 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 public data online. You have Facebook. You have Google. You have proprietary databases. And so it's not only how do I take one data set uh, and, and extract data from that relatively simple but then the question becomes is how can I create an application that pulls from five or ten or a hundred different data sets specific types of information uh, turns that into its own database and then from there is able to scan through and figure things out so data sciences uh, yeah especially if you like it you know what I'm saying like I say a lot of people look at it and like, oh that's boring um, but uh, but if you think it sounds interesting if you think it's good definitely data science is the way to go because again, that's what you have to kind of think about uh, from a technology standpoint, is it's not simply about where things are today, but where they are in the future. So again, with data sciences, all you have to look around is everybody's talking about Internet of Things, Internet of Things, Internet of Things, Internet of Everything, Internet of Everything. Everybody's talking about that. So you just think about it. You just, you, again, you do a logic problem in your head. What do you need for the Internet of Everything? And there's all these different things that, that need to be done. And most of them you'll look at and be like, well, I can't really do, you know, I, I don't know how to build batteries. So they need better batteries, but I don't know how to build batteries. Uh, they need a better wireless stack, but I don't know how to build a wireless stack. And you go through and there's all these things that you can't do anything about. Um, and then you come to like data science and you go, huh. So basically with data science, I need to know how to be able to interact with databases. I need to be able to build or deal with middleware. Um, yes. Yes, that is definitely something it's something I can do. So yes, um, I can't imagine a downside of data science. Cannot imagine a downside of data science. Um, no, it's one of the few that's one of the few it's just all it's good all the way around. And again, it's one of those things like that everybody is going to need. Or most most big companies are gonna need. So so no no downside with it. Definitely go for data science. Data science gets the thumbs up just all the way around.